Sometimes you just gotta put your phone on silent, tell the world to go f*** yourself and play a good old story driven game. Hi, my name's Cal over here at Game Reel, and today we're looking at the top 10 single player games that are coming out in 2024. Starting off at number one is the remake of Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. Now, this game needs no introduction. The series is iconic, the stories are incredible, and Solid Snake might be one of the best video game characters of all time. Now, Konami are creating this fully-fledged remake from the ground up using the Unreal 5 engine, and it shows... I mean, look at the gameplay footage that we've got. This game looks incredible. The graphics are beautiful. Now, am I going to play this game? Yeah. But would it have been my first choice out of the entire collection to remake? Probably not. I'd have loved to have seen them make, like, Sons of Liberty first. I mean, that opening scene still lives rent-free in my head. For the younger generation out there that haven't played this game, shame on you. Uh, but just to give you a breakdown of what it's about, it's a tactical espionage action game set during the Cold War in the 60s. It's the first chronological game overall. Now, Konami haven't given us a specific date as of yet, but this one should be out in 2024 coming out on the PlayStation 5, Xbox, and PC. I'm gonna give this one a solid four out of five on the game real hype meter. Moving on to number two. Black Myth Wukong is an upcoming action role-playing Souls-like game created by Chinese developer Game Science. The game is based on the classical 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West. It's the same novel that inspired Goku of Dragon Ball Z. In fact, the original Dragon Ball series began as a loose adaptation of Journey to the West. The novel tells the tale of a Buddhist monk named Tan Zhang who travels from China to India to obtain religious texts. Along the way, he recruits a number of disciples and one of them is Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. That said, the monkey protagonist featured may not be the legendary Sun Wukong himself, but time will tell. This is slated to release on the 20th of August 2024 on PS5, Xbox and PC. I'll give this one a solid 3.5 on the game real hype meter. Sitting at number 3 is Avowed. Avowed is an upcoming fantasy action RPG that's been developed by Obsidian, the makers behind Fallout New Vegas and The Outer Worlds. Avowed is set in the vast world of Aurora, boasting an array of locations from vibrant lush forests to rocky barren deserts. The game is actually set in the same fictional worlds as Pillars of Eternity, another Obsidian title that came out in 2015. In this game, players assume control of an envoy from the Edea Empire who is tasked with stopping a mysterious living plague. It's played from a first person perspective and you can expect to use magic, melee weapons, firearms and wands to defeat your enemies. Currently slated to release in the third or fourth quarter of 2024 on the Xbox and PC only. I'll give this one a score of three on the game real hype meter. Coming in at number four is Star Wars Outlaws. Now I feel like we've been spoiled of late with the Star Wars Jedi series by EA and I hope that Ubisoft does right by this game because in all honesty I've kind of lost trust in Ubisoft recently and I'm hoping that this is a returning form for them. Outlaws is set between the events of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, where you play as an outlaw scoundrel called K. Vess as you attempt one of the biggest heists the Outer Rim has ever seen. You've also got a companion with you called Nyx, who can assist you during missions to activate switches, distract guards and even grab weapons for you. It's an open world, third person, action adventure game mixed with stealth, combat, land and space vehicles. I like that you're not a Jedi in this story, instead you're like a Han Solo type character. Solo was always getting himself into trouble and was a notorious street thief and I can see the similarities between him and k -Vess. Mark your calendars for this one as it's set to release on the 30th of August 2024 on PS5, Xbox and PC. I'll give this a score of 4 on the hype meter. In at number 5 is Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Now, I'm usually sceptical when it comes to video game adaptations of films and 
vice versa but i'm excited about this one especially because it's being developed by machine games who are responsible for the wolfenstein series it's set in 1937 between the events of raiders of the lost ark and the last crusade the story follows indiana jones as he attempts to thwart various groups who are seeking to harness a power connected to the great circle now it's being pitched as a dynamic mix of linear narrative driven gameplay with open area maps and cinematic action which just shouts uncharted to me the gameplay reveal shows exploration beautiful graphics and puzzles and i just love puzzles so just take my money and give me the game right now we also get to see the iconic whip in action it can be used in combat and seemingly used to traverse the world around you it looks like the game is predominantly played from a first person perspective with some third person elements we don't have a specific date for this one but we're told to expect it in the second half of 2024 on the xbox series and pc i'm giving this one a score of 4.5 on the high meter Moving on to number 6 and this one is a big one. Stoker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. I've been waiting for this one for a long, long time. So I'm happy to say that we finally got a release date. Stoker 2 is an open world first person survival horror game. This is the first time for the Stoker series to feature a seamless open world game. I'm talking more than 60 square kilometers of open world to explore with the promise of more than 100 hours of gameplay to explore its secrets. The story will take you to the heart of Chernobyl deep within the dangerous exclusion zones. While Heart of Chernobyl serves as a sequel to the events of the original Stoker trilogy, GSC Gamewell emphasizes that newcomers to the series can fully enjoy and grasp the game's narrative without prior knowledge. We'll be playing a character called Skiff and our actions will have both short-term consequences and global outcomes within the narrative, but that's all we know right now as information is pretty light. The game is looking graphically stunning and I can't wait to get my hands on this. It's set to release on the 5th of September 2024 on the Xbox series and PC. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a 5 on the high meter. Death, Taxes and another yearly Call of Duty release. The Treyarch developed Call of Duty Black Ops Gold 4 takes our number 7 spot. I'm sure you're all familiar with COD so it doesn't need an introduction for myself. Last year we got Modern Warfare 3 and let's be honest, the story was underwhelming to say the least. Especially when you compare it to Modern Warfare 19. Activision had stated before the Modern Warfare 3 announcement that it was moving away from yearly releases to then go and release again the year after Modern Warfare 2. So it's probably why Modern Warfare 3 was so undercooked. In contrast, Treyarch has been working on the upcoming Black Ops game for three years and they generally create a fun cinematic Call of Duty experience I'm sure we'll all be satisfied. Other than being set during the Gulf War, we really don't know that much about the game's story but rumours are swirling suggesting that Microsoft will unveil it during the Xbox showcase in the summer. This will also see the return of a dance for those who would like to play Warzone with friends. No exact release date for this one, but we can expect it to drop late October, early November, because that's generally the time frame which Call of Duty drops, just in time for Christmas. And that'll be releasing on PlayStation 5, Xbox and PC. Yearly releases are hard to get excited about, so I'll give this a 2 on the hype meter. Taking our number 8 spot is The Altars. The Altars is an upcoming sci-fi game that features a unique blend of adventure, survival and base building elements. The plot behind this one is just strange to say the least. I dare say whoever wrote this has lost the plot. You play as Jan Dolsky, a simple miner who survived the crash landing on this hostile planet. You come across a substance on the planet called Rapidian. Coupling this with the quantum computer on board your base, you create alternate versions of yourself in a desperate attempt to escape from the planet you crashed on. It seems like you've got to manage these alternate versions of yourself, and each version of you has a particular set of skills, motivations, and goals. That in itself can create dangerous problems like how do you keep all versions of you happy? Like something tells me one of your alters are going to kill another, and that's going to lead to some interesting plot twists. It looks intriguing enough to pique my interest, so I'll be definitely giving this a go when it comes out. Currently slated for a 2024 release on PlayStation 5, Xbox, and PC, I'll give this a 4 on the hype meter. 
And number nine is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, a direct sequel from the original Bloodlines that came out in 2004. You'll be playing as an elder vampire fighting your way through a modern day setting of Seattle on the brink of an open war. The game depicts a world in which vampires, werewolves, demons and other creatures shape human history. I don't recall playing the original back in 2004. I'd have been way too busy playing San Andreas and Metal Gear Solid, but I know a lot of people regard it as a cult classic. I might have to give the new one a go because it does look good, it's visually appealing, but I worry that it might not have the depth to keep me hooked for a long time. This one is slated to release during the end of 2024 on PS5, Xbox and PC. I'll give this a 3 on the hype meter. And finally coming in at number 10 is The Lost Wild. The Lost Wild is being developed by Grey Ape Games and appears to be a survival horror game featuring a ton of dinosaurs. To say that it's got some Jurassic Park inspiration is an understatement based on the footage that I've seen thus far. But that's not to say that it doesn't look good because it does. In fact, it looks good and terrifying at the same time. Not much has been said about the story other than you're stranded in a violent primal world and your survival depends on mastering its rhythms and anticipating its dangers, whatever that means. In the story, you find a radio that has someone on the other end of it trying to help you. Similar vibes to Firewatch if you ever played that. This is slated to come out sometime in 2024 on PC. I'll give this a two and a half on the hype meter. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, drop a like. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. I won't argue with you. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'm hoping to grow this as, as big as I can and I'm gonna be dropping videos weekly. And I'll catch you in the next one.